Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and the following that you're going to see is a clip from a much longer live stream in which I covered the Hearthstone Boomsday Project solo adventure of Puzzle Lab, uh, which is a bunch of Hearthstone based card puzzles with four different goals of uh, either lethal, board clear, mirroring your opponent's side of the board, or I increasing your health to full health. Uh, with the exception of the last handful of puzzles in the final tiers, I found most of these puzzles super simpler, simple, and because of that I really don't feel like you're going to be very satisfied if you have to look up the solution, or if you do look up the solution without at least giving it a good 20 minutes to an hour. Uh, however, there are some that will undoubtedly confuse quite a few people, and that's what these solutions are for. Now, because this is a clip, it's just going to clip into the solution. You may not understand what I'm saying. I may get cut off, uh, and that is fine. Uh, remember, once you uh, know the solution, you can't unknow the solution. Uh, so consider that before you watch too. And finally, uh, I would ask that you like and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe to my channel, make sure you click the notification bell. Thank you. Here's the clip. Hmm. I think we are freezing to start with. this Okay. If I destroy this minion and then return it to full health, that probably refills our our things. Okay. Death Rebel resummon this minion. And then double this. Destroy a minion, death rattle, we summon it. Hmm. Let's see, whenever your spells deal damage, restore that much. We have 6, 12, 18, 24 right now. Um, and it doesn't seem like any of these would have a battle cry. So that and depending on how this plays, this should work. Oh yeah, that worked perfectly fine. Uh, that worked really, really. So that was the solution to that puzzle. I'd like to take a moment to just share my general thoughts of the puzzles in general. Um, for the most part, I found like lethal puzzles were the most difficult uh, on average, but it's not really difficult to get up to the fourth tier on any of the puzzles. As you can see, I have now done everything and earned the card back, which is a pretty pathetic reward but it's probably better to do that than what they did in the uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion, which was where you had to defeat the Lich King with all nine of the character classes to, I believe, get the Lich King card? I think that's what you got. Maybe you just got a card back for that, too. 
and th these puzzles were certainly a lot easier and took less time than that did. Of course, this puzzle element is totally near the Hearthstone, and it's made me really think about how I'd be presenting this in the future. Uh, one thing I'd definitely do, and it's pretty much the most obvious thing, is I would separate the game audio out with the live stream audio on my microphone. That way I can have long live streams where the audio is available, but I can also have footage where it's just the Hearthstone sound effects and music playing, and then it would make these clips look a lot better and make a lot more sense because undoubtedly at least in some of these clips i'll be halfway through a sentence and people won't hear uh what i'm saying or understand what i'm saying i felt like the mirror cards uh puzzles were sort of underused uh I kind of would like to look at the numbers, but they don't really show it, so it's very possible that the first tier of Lethal had seven puzzles, and the first tier of Lethal uh, of Mirror had like five puzzles, because uh, they don't make that super obvious. Uh, the thing this expansion really, really needs is a submenu, so you can click on one of these groups and then pick a puzzle that you want to go back and play at the moment if you want to go back and play anything you would just have to start from the beginning and cycle through it again which uh, is frustrating certainly it's just a lack of replay replayability there was a super hard uh, 999 damage full Northshire puzzle puzzle for the final lethal spell and then there was a rather hard couple of final tier uh, board clear puzzles that in total I spent probably 15 hours on just those three puzzles of 35 hours of streaming and of course when I was streaming I was also in the middle of insomnia so uh, it, I wasn't really sleeping that well and I was streaming while I was half asleep and that's certainly not a great way to make uh, try and do puzzles uh, but also it's kind of hard to pre-record that footage when it was brand new as certainly streaming was the right way to go for my channel I got lots and lots of subscriptions and views for it uh, board clear puzzles are all right and survival puzzles are all right although uh, there were a couple times in the survival puzzles where you really was surviving via different means than just healing yourself so had they broken up survival puzzles into uh, give your hero immunity puzzles it set your hero uh, to um, or what well, well, increase your hero's armor puzzle above the 40 damage that it was going to do um, there is I think one other way that, that some of the puzzles had you increase uh, do other things other than increase your health uh, there's about four or five different types of puzzles they're putting under survival uh, where which could have been broken down and certainly that would have been it uh, I've seen some thoughts of people asking uh, Activision Blizzard if they were gonna let players create their own puzzles they said that was a great idea but they have no plans to do it so take that for what that is I think that would be a great idea. I think puzzles could replace tavern brawls very easily, uh, or at least they could swap between puzzles and tavern brawls. I kind of hope there isn't a daily quest that shows up where you have to do five puzzles to get 50 gold, because that would be annoying, particularly for people who have already finished it. Uh, survival puzzles were fine, and board clear puzzles were a little hard, and mirror puzzles were fine. Uh, I think lethal really stood at least a couple steps higher than in difficulty on average than any of the other puzzles um but there's also problems with a lot of the puzzles that were given in this expansion they just didn't do a good job in my opinion of using cards that already existed there's a bunch of cards from previous Solo Adventures expansions that have never been used in regular gameplay. They didn't bring any of those back. Uh, there's a lot of heroes that could have come back from the old Solo Adventures too. 
There's a bunch of cards that are wild that they really didn't play too much with any of those. And they really didn't play with the cards that are standard either. And instead, they introduced some cards that just don't exist in regular gameplay. So even if you solve a puzzle using a card, if the card doesn't exist, you've not learned anything and that inherently gets to the problem with this puzzle systems unless hearthstone decides to separate itself and redefine itself as this puzzle card game and ranked collectible card game in equal parts these puzzles don't feel like playing hearthstone they don't feel like playing ranked they don't feel like playing arena they don't feel like doing a tavern ball maybe some of the tavern balls that might feel a little bit like that uh, they also didn't feel like they really taught you too much uh, as far as gameplay mechanics that people might be overlooking. Of course, I'm so far into this game, I've been playing it for so long, maybe it does teach some basic things that I'm just overlooking. Uh, but yeah, there's there's definitely some, some weirdness on the puzzles that they did make and how they made it. It seems like they just kind of had never thought about this and, and this was the last second. Uh, idea to do this expansion which is weird because this expansion came way too early and has really messed up my schedule and over committed me to doing a lot more work uh, editing out so much of the footage down into just short often less than a minute clips uh, of the success successes whereas Hearthstone in general is the game that I can rely on to to not force me to do any editing or any extra work well that's it where I'm gonna wrap up with this ideas uh, if you want to see the entire live streams there are seven part videos uh, on my channel uh, where I live streamed the Boomsday uh, puzzle expansions but they are very, very rough live streams. Uh, I am not going to um, deny that. It, there are many times, particularly at the end, where I spend three or four hours just banging my head against puzzles and don't find the solution. To the point where I actually had to do, look up the solution for the last three myself. Uh, these clip videos, I plan to release them every day. And because they're going to cause so much extra work, they're going to eventually after Halloween, after October, Halloween month, uh, they're going to replace a time slot on on my channel. Uh, I'm just not going to play a game, or I'm, I'll probably play a game, but I'm not going to air that game until later. Uh, this entire year has been a year that's been terrible for all YouTubers, and it's sucked a lot of the exhaust, uh, energy out of the room for YouTubers and creators, me included. Uh, one of the major things that did that is them changing and moving the goalpost and kicking me out of the YouTube partner program So I can't even earn the pennies on ad revenue. I used to make Anyways, that's where I want to wrap up. I end all my episodes the same way I ask you to like this video. I ask you to share it with your friends. I ask you to comment I ask you to watch every second of all my videos because that tells YouTube's algorithm that my videos are worth watching. If you want a friend or follow me, which I would like you to do, there are links down below for Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, and Battle.net. Yep, you can friend me on Battle.net so we could potentially play Hearthstone at some point. Uh, also, if you want to support my channel, Right now, I'm asking people to friend me on fate, uh, on Steam and gift me a game that way. Either you pick a game from my wish list or just a game you'd like to see me cover. If I do get a game gifted to me, it's going to be at the highest of priorities to cover. And if you don't want to pick, you can also gift gift cards through Steam. Or if you happen to have a Steam code through a different third party site, uh, you can just send that code to me through Twitter direct message. And I think that is it. So thank you for watching. Have a good evening.